which jawf al-layl? What is jawf al-layl? What's the depth of the night? In this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ just said jawf al-layl. And in many ahadith, he just says jawf al-layl, the depth of the night. In these ahadith, jawf al-layl would mean the middle of the night exactly. So what is jawf al-layl nowadays? Who has a cell phone? Who has the prayer times? Or actually prayer times are here. So where... Uh, yeah, that's a comma time. But we, we, the, the prayer time is like at 6 o'clock in the morning, right, for Fajr. And Maghrib, Maghrib is 4.36. So 4.36 and Fajr is uh, 6 o'clock. When, when is Duha? Because there is controversy over this. What is the night? From, Fajr to, from Maghrib to Fajr or from Maghrib to Duha, which is sunrise? Likely it is from Maghrib to Duha, which is sunrise. Because that, you know, Fajr is still in the night, considered part of the night. So Duha nowadays is at 7.16. So from Maghrib, which is 4.33, to 7.16, how many hours is that? Hmm? 11 to 12? No, exactly. 11, 15? Okay, 11 hours and 15 minutes. Divide this by two. You have five and a half and uh, five, let's say five hours and 40 minutes. Five hours and 40 minutes for simplification. Add five hours and 40 minutes to the Maghrib time, which is 433. Say, say 4.30, so you add 5, that is 9, uh, and f 10, 10, 10, 10, very early. That is the middle of the night exactly. So when the Prophet means, when talks about jawful layl, the depth of the night, he means 10, 10, which is very close, you know, this is just going to be like half an hour. Huh? No, it's not 6.30. 6 o'clock. It's from Maghrib. No, we're talking from Maghrib. Maghrib is at 4.33. From 12 to 6.30, 6 hours and 30 minutes. No, it's not 6.30. It's not 6.30. It is Duha. It is until Duha. Duha, Duha which is sunrise, is at 7.16. No, the idea of midnight, that midnight is at 12 o'clock, doesn't have anything to do with the religion. This is basically, you know, uh, this is just like a very modern phenomenon. The, we're, we're talking about midnight in Islam is between Fajr and Duha. The middle point between Fajr and Duha. Fajr is at 4.30, Duha is at 7.15. Fajr is 6 o'clock. Maghrib, from Maghrib to Duha. Maghrib is the beginning of the night. Duha is the end of the night. Guys, listen. The sun sets, that is the beginning of the night. The sun rises, that is the end of the night, the beginning of the day. So the sun sets at 4.30. The sun rises at 7.15. Between 4.30 and 7.15, you have some number of hours. Anyway, the idea here is not, this is not a math class here. <laughs> For, no, 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 but, 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 but the concept, calculate from Maghrib to Doha, to sunrise, from Maghrib to sunrise, divide into uh, by two and add half of this duration to Maghrib, then you will figure out what midnight means in Islam, because deferring Aisha after midnight is disliked according to the Hanafis, Malikis, and Shafi'is, and forbidden according to the Hanbalis. So it is this is pertinent knowledge. It's not, it's not just for people who pray the night prayers. Uh, it, but the night prayers could be anything after Aisha. But the best night prayers is in Jawf al the depth of the night, which means this here. However, the Prophet ﷺ in many ahadith, in most of the ahadith when he was asked this question, 
he was asked the question of, for instance, the Prophet ﷺ in a hadith reported by Tirmidhi from Abi Umam al-Bahilayya radiallahu anhu, he was asked the question about ma asma'u du'a'i ila Allah. Which du'a is most likely to be heard by Allah? So this hadith has some controversial authenticity. I believe it's authentic. Which du'a is most likely to be accepted by Allah? The Prophet ﷺ said, fi jawf al-layl al-akhir wa dubur as-salawat al-maktubat. It is in the depth of the latter part of the night and at the end or after the end of the prescribed daily prayers. Some of the scholars said it's at the end, meaning you make the dua after you finish the shahud and before you make the sleep. And some of the scholars said it is after you make the tasleem. So whatever you, you, you do, you could do both, you could do one. So it is at the end of the five daily prayers, so some of the scholars said between tashahud and tasleem, and some of the scholars said after tasleem, but they mean by this after your uh, azkar as well. Because the azkar, the Prophet ﷺ used to mention them, right after that, so he, once he finished, he said, Allahu Akbar, astaghfirullah, 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 and then he said the azkar. So the scholars who said that this dua is after the salah, they say it's, he's, he's after the salah and azkar, he makes the dua. The scholars who said at the end of the salah, they say between tashahud, finishing tashahud, and making taslim, he makes the dua. But then, you know, the Prophet ﷺ said that this is the most like, the dua most likely to be accepted. في جوف الليل الآخر In the depth of the latter part of the night and at the end or after the prescribed salawat maktubat, the prescribed obligatory prayers. جوف الليل الآخر What is جوف الليل الآخر? الليل الآخر means the latter part of the night. So it is the latter half of the night. Jawf al-layl al-akhir is the middle of the latter half of the night. How do you figure this out? The middle part of the latter half of the night. So you will divide the latter half of the night into three pieces, three parts. The middle part is the prime part for salah and dua. The middle part is the prime part for salah and dua. As the scholars said, the scholars said, fi khamis, Sudus. Khamis Sudus. The fifth, sixth. The fifth, sixth of the night. So if the night is 14 hours, let us say it's 14 hours and uh, Maghrib is at 4.30, seven hours after 4.30 is what? 7 and uh, 11.30. So 7 and 4.30, 11.30. So that is the, the, the beginning of the second part of the night. 11.30 until 7.16. Okay. So divide this by two. Okay. So, so the two hours and 15 minutes is each third of this. So two, four hours and a half after... Uh, after 11.30, four hours and a half after 11.30, then it is 4 a.m. 4 a.m. is the fifth, sixth of the night. It is the depth or the middle of al-layl al-akhir, the latter part of the night. Does this coincide with something that we know? Coincides with? coincides with a, an, a, a very important concept, huh? Tahajjud, yeah, yeah. But no, it coincides with Nuzulullahi ila samai dunya. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa says, Yanzirullahu ila samai dunya, Iza madha thurutha al-layl. 
when two thirds of the night are over, Allah descends to the lower heavens and says, Hal min sa'irin Is there, this is reported by Bukhari and Muslim. Hal min sa'irin Is there a sa'il, like a, 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 someone who is supplicating, asking uh, to give him? Hal min mustaghfirin fa'aghfirullahu. Is there someone who is seeking forgiveness that I would forgive him? Now, you may want to say, but the last, that last third of the night happens all the time because all the time there is this one last third of the night. So does that mean that Allah descends all the time? So does that mean that Allah is not on His throne? He descends all the night? You, if you're not on the roof, you, if you're not uh, if, if, if you're here, you're not on the roof. Because you're a human being with the limitations of a human being. Once you start to think of Allah with the limited mind of a human being, limited experience of the human being, you're lost. So you don't go there. You don't think this way. Allah, you think of Allah the, in, in the way that is befitting of His Majesty. Nothing is like Him. Don't apply your own rules to Allah. Your own rules are your rules. But how do you apply your rules as a limited human being to the one who created you? The one who created you and created the rules. Can the one who, you know, is it conceivable that the one, that the one who created the rules be bound by the rules? Absolutely not. If he created the rules, he cannot be bound or limited by the rules that he created. Anyway, so those are the created rules for you. Don't judge Allah by those rules. But that is the time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends.